welcome back everyone, Twitch is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Trick or Treat Studios video. In fact, this is the first figure I've ever looked at from Trick or Treat Studios, so for that alone, I am very excited because they are bringing back the classic 90s cartoon show's action figure line, The Toxic Crusaders, based upon the movie The Toxic Avenger, with the first figure being Toxie. Say that's all in one go. Creature features feature all these various accessories. The packaging is superb. Warning, contents may contain traumatons. And you get to see Toxie front and center with that giant window box packaging. Now, the back of the card, very much like Playmates did back in the day. All that cool artwork, very 90s artwork, but I'm glad that they brought it back. You get to see all the accessories in beautiful detail. The next figure coming up, Dr. Killamoff, and you can screen grab this and or cut it out of the packaging if you'd like to save it. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode. This has been out for a while now. It was on the Trick or Treat Studios website, various other sites, toy stores, you get the idea. However, mine came from Walmart. I found it on the store shelf at the back of the store in the entertainment section. It's part of the whole NECA Toys, Trick or Treat, various other companies team up with Bloody Disgust. But if you'd like one, it's about 25 bucks in stores, and you can grab one out for yourself. But in either case, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, and check out that plastic bubble right there. It looks like a radioactive oil drum. That is just stellar packaging. This is a look at the brand new Trick or Treat Studios Toxie from their new Toxic Crusaders line. Here we go. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging, and I never had the original Playmates Toys versions of the Toxic Crusaders action figures, so for me, this is completely brand new. I'm looking forward to checking this out. You're going to largely get the same accessories like this Toxic Crusaders shield. It's all in that orange plastic. There's little flecks of paint every which way. It's sort of like the old TMNT figures. Everything's kind of cobbled together. You have all the bubbles. It's the top of the radioactive oil drum, but now it's a shield. You also get these grenades. These are cool. Again, all orange plastic, well sculpted. They're all the same. They have little paint splatters every which way. That's part of the retro charm of doing these figures, along with his toxic mop. And that's a cool weapon. It's a little bit Donatello bow staffed, and you have the mop at the top, and you notice these little holes. We'll get to that in just a few. This pops off again. We'll get to that in just a few. It is fun. Stay tuned. That's all I'm going to say. But I like all the paint splatter every which way on this. Now, you do get a cup of slime. The secret toxic glow-in-the-dark weapon resides inside. And it has been a while since I've had an action figure come with slime. I think the last one I looked at was a Venom figure from the Disney store. But yes, you do get slime. It's very slimy, so... Be very careful, especially around carpet and other things you don't want to get slime on, but more of that in just a few, because we have Toxie. And like I said, it resembles the old Playmates action figure, but they've really re-sculpted it. It made it their own, we'll just say, so it doesn't infringe on what's come before, and I like that. And for me especially, now I have this new version. This is fine for someone like me. With the head portrait itself, that is creepy. The Toxic Avenger, Toxic Crusaders always weirded me out. The live action, especially. The cartoon was fun. I vaguely remember the cartoon. Not one that I actually watched, but it will simply just swivel. But he's got the headband, the eye bugging out. You have minimal arm articulation. He will rotate right there at the elbow. That's kind of cool. He's got little yellow bands, mostly green skin with just some paints to divvy everything up along with his bandolier right there, which you can put all of his weapons in. That's nice to see. Thing plugs in, but again, much like the slime, more on that in just a few, but I appreciate some good a uh, weapon storage. Again, the arms will go all the way up. You'll notice right here on the original figure, there was a decal that's no longer there. Nothing at the waist, the legs will swivel out, and that's it for the articulation. So, a very simplistic retro styled figure, very pre posed, 
But that's what they're going for. They're bringing back the fun of simplicity, and for that alone, I appreciate it. But I really do like all the paint splatter, the tears in his costume. Everything really just stands out as a simplistic, fun figure of old, but now existing in 2024. And for all that simplistic articulation, that's really all you need to get the point across that this is a toy and you're supposed to have some fun coming soon with some slime. Now, all of the weapons, especially the grenades, they have little designated spots on the bandolier and they'll fit for the most part. You kind of have to work them in there. Everything will kind of uh, go either which way, but it's fine for what it is, as is with his mop that'll slip right in there. And everything holds pretty well, we'll say that. You can hold on to the shield, and as long as you're not throwing this guy around, everything should stay, but you'll notice this little peg right here. Well, that's where the thing inside the slime comes from, and we're just gonna dive in. That's what's gonna happen here for this video. You get a decent amount of slime. It's very slimy, and you can clearly see, yes, there is a little creature inside, which is, of course, blobby, if we can... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if you're gonna mess with the slime, put something underneath, because it's gonna go everywhere. But yes, Blobby himself is a very glow-in-the-dark little Blobby, a very slug of a figure, well-sculpted, little bits of glow-in-the-dark here and there. It's well done. That is a fun little figure, and yes, he pops right on the bandolier. He'll be Toxie's little sidekick, along with all the other accessories. That's pretty darn cool. And you could totally do the Donatello pose with his, I want to keep saying bow staff, but his mop staff. You got the grenades. He holds all of the accessories. Now, if you were wondering, how does this figure stack up? Well, it very much belongs in the 90s. So it's around a five inch figure. It will go really well with the old school Playmates TMNT. 90s figures of the same scale, just as a heads up. In terms of what's on the shelf now, we have McFarlane and you have Street Sharks, which is a lot of fun. That's Return. Jada Toys Street Fighter, Marvel Legends, Diamond Select. It's going to be its five inch scale, so it's not going to really go with a lot of those figures. And oh, did I mention that if you have a black light, you can switch that on and you can have some fun with that. All the orange really comes out, especially when you get around the accessories. And when you look at Blobby, you get to see all of that paint on there, the really slime coated style paint that. It's a lot of fun. That is really cool. That's just the old school toyetic feel of all these gruesome, disgusting figures. But that's what made the 90s collecting so much fun. You would just play with these toys into the ground. And that's what it's all about with toys, to be honest with you. In terms of Blobby, he does glow in the dark. He's not that bright of a glow in the dark, at least on my end, but I think that you've all been patient enough. So let's try out the slime with the mop. So you take that top part off and kind of dip it in there. You kind of do the whole spaghetti dealio if you really want to get some on there or better yet, just grab a bunch of the slime and slap it on top of the mop if you can <laughs> get it on there. Just look at this. And what you do is just press down and all the slime will goo out the top. And woo, we did it. There you go. It's It took a while. This is all sped up, of course, but it's fun. And now there is slime literally all over my figures and the review station. But I digress. Yes, have a ball with the slime. That's what it's there for. It's like Pete Venkman walking through the public library, right? It's fun. It's part of the figure. It's part of that retro charm. Ghostbusters, Venom, Toy Biz, all that stuff. Everything that came with slime, it brings back all that nostalgic fun. And I think that Trick or Treat Studios really has a hit here with bringing these back. Simplicity is key. And that's truly what I think about when I think about the Toxic Crusaders action figures of old. So you've heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Toxic Crusaders. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. <laughs> It's everywhere. But most importantly, remember, don't eat the slime. That's the poisonous part, I imagine. Well, one taste wouldn't hurt you. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs> this is, it's everywhere. It is literally everywhere. That's, this is great. Oh, my God. <laughs> the stuff I do to make these videos. Oh, my God.